diagnosed with Parkinson's about uh, 15 years ago when I was in my mid, mid to late 40s, which is quite early. And then about six months ago, I, no less than that, so probably about three or four months ago, I had two heart attacks in one day. I was taken to Blackburn in an ambulance, blew that out of the way. I got over that fairly quickly, but I was referred here to the day services unit. But when they said, do you want to go to Rustner Hospice, I thought, I feel you're going to die in it, so I was a bit concerned for this, but it's a great place to come, meet new people, make friends and everything like that. I gradually became accustomed to the staff, very nice staff and everything, they're all friendly and plenty of time and they'll explain anything to you you want to know. So it wasn't, one, one visit was enough for me, I'm, I'm convinced I should stay here forever now. I used to pencil draw when it went before I had Parkinson's, but obviously that went out of the door when my hand started shaking. So I've discovered a way to paint with sponges now, so I can dab it on the, with my shaking hand, it doesn't matter. And I painted landscapes and all sorts. When I took it on, my grandkids came around for tea one day and said, Who painted that? And my wife said, Grandad did. There's no way did he do that, it's too good. But art therapy is great, you know what I mean, I like it a lot. And I also have massages, every time I come here with a spa, they've got a big spa bath. That's great, it's so relaxing for my muscles and everything. Because with Parkinson's, I don't know, I shake all the time, and the muscles get very tense sometimes, so to have a massage and a spa bath is great. And I'm grateful to my wife that she's looked after me 24 7 for 10 years now. So. This gives her a break as much as me. It doesn't matter what your perception of a hospice is now. Go for once. If you like it, go back in. If you don't, you don't have, they don't force you to come back. But if you try it, you, you never know what it's like until you try it. The staff here are absolutely marvellous for me. They always push, I say push me around, I mean in my wheelchair, push me around. You know. If I want to go to the loo, they'll come and get my chair and take me to the toilet, have a bath, everything. They can't do enough for you. I think the hospice is important because it doesn't concentrate on one illness. Like I've got Parkinson's and I've also got coronary artery disease now. But there's people in the room with MS and all sorts of different... So it's, it's a multi-illness thing, if you see. You don't, it's not for one particular group of people. Anybody can come out, older and young. There's some younger people there, some older people. And it doesn't matter what's wrong with you. You're always welcome in the hospice environment. Mm -hmm.